Oh my goodness, it's a baby goat. Did you just see that jump? That's amazing. Look at the Hey guys, and welcome back to iCraft MC's World. In this episode of our amazing Let's Play, we're actually going to be getting goats for Gemma Locus, or at least trying to, because she told me that she would really like some goats. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Uh, there we go. So, today's banner also needs a flower charge made with an oxide daisy and a piece of paper, and a thing charge made with an enchanted golden apple and a piece of paper. We're going to start with a white banner and black dye. The black dye is in the black border indented. Next, we're going to a white, pale, sinister, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to a purple flower charge, which is this pattern right here. Then, we're going to a black fess, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to a white inverted chevron, which is this shape right here. And we're going to end off, last but not least, with a fang charge. And you can see what it makes. It makes an ender dragon banner. I thought this was a super cool banner. The Ender Dragon is obviously an epic creature in Minecraft. And of course, I think it's very fitting to have a banner of it. So we'll place that up in our banner garden next to all of our other banners. And I think it'll be very, very fitting. Uh, so I think our new banner pole is right here. Here it is next to the banana. There's our amazing Ender Dragon. So we have ourselves some supplies. We're going to fly over and ask Jemalakas if she's still interested in getting that goat. Because, of course, if she isn't, we're not going to work. Uh, tons and tons or something she would not like. So this is her base. I guess just for the sake of uh, fun, we will go through the secret entrance instead of flying over the walls, which I do believe is still through this waterfall. Uh, it looks like it uh, still is. Yes, here it is. So we will go through up here and go to the secret entrance to uh, where Gemma Locus is living currently and probably will continue to live. And right through here, we can see here we are into the kind of the secret valley kind of idea. Looks like Gemma is working on something up there which looks pretty cool. So we'll just go over here and we'll see what's up. Hey, Gemma. So I heard you're interested in getting some goats. Is that still true? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, it looks like you are still interested. Okay, perfect. Uh, would you like to go with me to get those goats? Yeah, awesome. That'd be cool. All right, let's go. All right, so I think I saw some goats over, over here. So we're going to get to the top of the wall. Uh, actually, up here, I think this is probably the easiest way, right? That probably is. So, well, we just head right back up here and get to the top of the wall. I did see some in this mountain biome, although they're not very, very close. Uh, now, Gemma, I have a couple supplies for you you're going to find quite useful, uh, which is some leads and some wheat. Uh, of course, uh, goats are actually bred with wheat, so the wheat will be a perfect lure for those goats. And once they're lured, then, of course, you can right-click on them with the leash. So we're going to go up here and make ourselves a bit of a uh, way up and hopefully that's okay Gemma I'm sure it is looks like it's a bit dangerous uh, but this is the way to go so we're actually going to want to go just drop down here it's not uh, too far uh, shouldn't be too much fall damage yeah there we go and we'll just go right down here and right over here should actually be those goats uh, it might be a different matter getting the goats inside of the walls but overall shouldn't be too difficult uh, so let's see we'll have to scout out where the goats are tell me if you see any Gemma um, I don't see any for now. Now I think they're up on top of that peak, maybe over there, maybe that peak, but we're going to check out this peak first and basically just see what we can find since obviously uh, goats spawn in mountain biomes. Now they spawn in an interesting way. Uh, they spawn a bunch of generations, so that basically means whenever you're loading up a new chunk, a bunch of goats can spawn in the mountain biomes. Then after that, they can also spawn with the, uh, just the normal way mobs naturally spawn. So basically, if you have a world and you load up an area, you can have a bunch of sheep there or cows. And then later on, you can also have a couple sheep and cows spawn. So they spawn that exact same way, which means that they are uh, can just kind of be anywhere in a mountain biome, but generally are only in new mountain biome chunks. So you would definitely want to find a new mountain biome to find goats of your own. So uh, heading up here, uh, here's Gemma. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe here. I guess we're just on that peak over there. So we'll head up here and uh, see what we can find. It looks like I'm falling down, although I do hear goats. Oh, yeah, here's some goats. Gemma, if you just come over here. Or maybe you can find some over there, too. I'm not sure, because I just see one. But maybe there's some goats. Oh, my goodness. It's a baby goat. Did you just see that jump? That's amazing. Look at the baby goat, Gemma. It's super cute. But that uh, jump was amazing there. Very, very interesting. Now, I'm guessing there's another adult or two. I mean, it's obviously quite possible. Um, yeah, there's another adult. So there's the adult, and there's the baby. All right, so I guess I'll just grab up my uh, leads. 
I don't think that was a goat screaming goat, but that was a very funny sound it made. I love these goat sounds, hilarious. So I'm going to put the wheat in my offhand, and uh, I guess we, you can actually lead the other goats, but we might see if we can actually breed these again. Let's see, are you going to breed? Ah, uh, you are. Let's see if we can get a second baby, because then with the second baby, if we just bring the adults, then we can basically have a population that is sustainable. So if you want to just grab one goat, Gemma, and if, uh, if uh, I'll grab the other goat here, then yeah, there's the baby jumping in. That's so cool. I think the adults jump too. Then we'll basically make a very cautious trip uh, mountaineering across the mountain range back to Gemma's base. This should be quite good fun and we'll probably just take the most direct route which appears to be this way although I actually think if we kind of head this way you can actually go pretty quick Gemma now the babies do seem to be somewhat following but I think if, if we go at a decent speed so we're gonna uh, tangle up there but I think if we get at a decent speed it should not be an issue with the babies following us uh, too much uh, oh it looks like the early uh, broke there Gemma I'll just go back here. It often does, and unfortunately with these guys, because they're jumping, it may break several times for me as well. Uh, now, a really cool item being added to the Bedrock edition of the game, and that will be added to this edition as well soon, is a uh, horn made out of the goat's, well, horn. And basically, uh, it'll be really, really cool. It'll make the sound that happens when you have a pillager uh, raid, but that uh, won't be added for a while. Uh, now Gemma and I are going to make our way back to over here and I'll be right with you once we're done with this as this will probably be a very long lengthy and probably not super entertaining process so I'll be right back. Alright we have now gotten our goats back. It looks like Gemma just went to bed there and what's actually super cool is that 1.17 has a really cool feature called basically multiplayer sleep or sleep percentage. What's so cool about that is that if you're in a multiplayer world you can just simply set it so that only one player or only a couple players out of a bunch have to sleep but enough about that we have our amazing goats here which is super awesome so of course the main part of this video is me building the goat pen with Gemma Lacus. and the main part of that is actually going to be with moss because uh, just such a cool block and we're going to utilize some of its properties now Gemma's never played around a whole bunch with moss so we're going to show her somewhat how it works uh, so Gemma basically how moss works is you place a moss block down and you right click on it with some bone meal I just threw some bone meal there and if you just right click on it there uh, watch what happens Basically, what will happen is the blocks around it will actually be turned into moss. So this isn't just something on top. It'll be turned into moss. Yeah, it's quite cool. So basically, uh, what you can do is you can actually just right-click around here and cover the entire surface of this in moss. Now, we're not going to do too much because obviously some of this we're going to want to keep as grass. Uh, but it's an amazing way of just kind of turning an area natural looking. And overall, it's just a super cool feature. So we're just going to finish quickly covering all this in moss. And this is basically my trick for the... Uh, goat pen is basically my thought is that uh, goats like something that is quite green so they can eat a lot of things I mean the goats can eat basically anything but I'm sure they'd prefer something that's green uh, so what we're gonna do oh, oh dear <laughs> that's funny there's actually a massive thing under that is hilarious we can see right through that that is super interesting it even spread down here a little bit well we can always clean that up later it doesn't matter uh, too much but basically now uh, what we can do here is we're basically converting the stone and the grass into moss. Now it makes us so useful for uh, the what makes us so useful for the goat pen uh, is that it basically gives us an amazing uh, base to make the goat pen on. I don't wonder that it's not spreading. Is that infested stone? No, it's not. I'm not sure why it didn't spread, but uh, there we go. I'm not sure if diorite or andesite spread. I it does. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, there we go. I think it's almost done. We could probably just. Uh, place the rest down. I have some uh, random moss blocks here. So this is basically done. That's awesome. Now obviously we don't want all these uh, different things here in the goat pen. So I'm basically just going to uh, run around here breaking all the top bits here. If you want to break a couple top bits there, Gemma, too, that'd be awesome. Uh, just getting rid of all the top plants. Um, we can keep the moss carpets, but just kind of running around and breaking all the uh, pieces here we don't need. And I'll just place some of those back in here and we can use those later for other things. But uh, yeah, basically just obviously the goat pen can have uh, some grass, but I think overall just kind of keeping it uh, well trimmed here. And of course there's all this to get rid of here, but it's really easy to get rid of because all these things are just instant breaking, which is awesome. So let's we'll break this and also replace this with moss uh, and just get rid of all these different things in here so that we can have a nice... Uh, easy thing there. Yeah, of course you can spread it a bit more, but I think overall it'll probably look good if it's uh, not a huge amount. So that's good. And then we can probably do here, uh, as you can always build me a little bit more if you want, whatever you want, or you can place some blocks back down. Uh, but overall, 
I think that's looking good. So what we're going to do now is we have to actually enclose this, and we have to enclose this quite well, because basically uh, goats have an amazing jumping quality in Minecraft and in real life, uh, but especially in Minecraft, they can actually jump huge, huge distances. So basically, yeah, there's the very sweet goats. Uh, actually, Gemma, you can milk those if you want for goat milk, although unfortunately is not a unique item, which is very disappointing, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, what we can basically do here is make ourselves a very tall fence, uh, because without a tall fence, they can just jump over. In fact, we need a very tall fence, so we're going to grab all of our items out here like this, and we're going to basically place up a tall fence. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the fence uh, around here, so it lines up with this. And the fence is going to be made out of polished deep slate walls and iron bars. So, Jim, if you want to help a little bit here, I'm just going to grab uh, throw you some iron bars there. What we're going to do is we're going to place this up. I'm thinking at least... Let's see how many blocks this is. That's uh, five there? That's No, that's six. We'll try for seven blocks. This should be quite tall. And I'm going to make uh, posts every five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's five. And then there would be six there, obviously, since it's five in between. And then, Jeff, if you want to just put lots and lots of fences between here, going all the way up there, that would be super useful as I make these pillars. So one, two, three, four, five. And that would be uh, six there, I believe. Yes, that is. And, of course, to get up on here, it can take a little bit of finagling, but not too difficult. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go down here like this, and then I think that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll just put one on the edge like this too, although that is only four blocks. That should still work decently well. So we'll go up here like this. I think, I think that's, is that about seven? That looks like it's about seven, yeah. So that's good, and of course just to finish it off, because things like this always need to have a big good ending bit to them, we'll put the top on the walls as well, if I can actually do this correctly. We don't want this to look like a prison, although it might look like that a little bit, but it needs to be a secure cage so that they can basically uh, knock it out unless we want them to, because obviously we don't want goats uh, willy-nilly across the entire land. And I don't think you can reach all those, Gemma, but that's totally fine, because for me up here, I have an amazing vantage point to grab these and connect them on. Now it's so cool, and they actually changed this about walls a while ago with walls. What you can actually do is it'll actually connect up very, very well, uh, very seamlessly uh, to the rest of these blocks. Well, we can, actually can reach those, that's good. And so basically, they'll actually connect up into these amazing kind of flat structures uh, with the rest of these to make a really uniform wall. Now, of course, there's one thing where this is lacking so far. Well, that's a gate, of course. We want a way to get in and out of here. So I'm thinking what we're going to probably do is make ourselves a gate in a certain part of this, and we're going to do a special type of gate. So what we're going to do is we're going to break apart this like this, as Gemma works on the walls there, and we're going to basically make ourselves a nice uh, gate. Actually, we might do something a little bit different. We might actually do here. Yeah, if you want to just keep going with that, Gemma, that'd be great. Uh, what we're probably going to do here is just go up like this, and like this, and uh, you might need some more uh, iron bars there, Gemma. And then we'll go up like this. And basically we're making a nice frame for a doorway. And this frame is going to be where we put some fences. Now obviously doors could work, but overall aren't probably the best option. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to break this around here. And in the middle here, right down the middle like this, we're going to break this and have ourselves a nice uh, entrance that is full of a bunch of fences. I think a nice open entrance like this will do multiple things. Uh, not the least of which being the fact it'll make it look a little bit less like a prison. Now what's cool about this is you can actually see these have this really cool effect here. These actually going uh, down, up, and then down. This is a really cool decorative feature that can actually be used on a lot of areas. Now, I'm not sure if you can get the rest of those gemma or not. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. And I'll just get these ones uh, up here like this. And I think it's really looking uh, quite good so far. Now, obviously, we're nowhere near done. Uh, so we have some more things to do here. So we're just going to put the rest of these away. We don't need any more of these. Um, as gemma works in the iron burrs, there's more in here if you need them. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our goats, but before we do that, we're going to get our uh, straw bales here and some more of these moss blocks, as well as some of these uh, moss carpets and these smooth stone slabs, and I'll go, across, uh, go over uh, why we need all these things in just a second here. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get ourselves these smooth stone slabs and place them up here, going across... Uh, like this and basically what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that no matter what the goats cannot jump out and it'll also make a bit of a cover for them in case it's raining uh, not too much but a bit of a cover there and uh, basically if you want to try breeding those again Gemma that might be cool there is some wheat I believe in the chest uh, but anyway if we go like this this will basically make it so that there's no way that the goats can just uh, go out oh let's see if they're going to breed 
And baby goat. That's so cute. I love the baby goats. I think they're super cute. And of course, we have the bit more high pitch noises, which is always uh, sweet as well. So we're going to place these across like this. And we have this nice uh, thing here. Place some torches up here, of course, so that we can have a nice uh, bit of light. Actually, I guess we can't really. It's okay. Uh, that doesn't mean it can. That means it can't spawn bombs anyway. And of course, this doesn't go in here. This goes down uh, there. So this is looking really awesome. I think this is a really good way of walling it off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a couple things to make some features to make this a bit more like home for the goats. Because here's a few things here that the goats do not have. A mountain to climb up, for instance. So what we're going to do is we're going to break some of these carpets and make a big area around here. Not super big, but somewhat big. Uh, where basically we can have a goat enclosure and the goats can kind of climb up a little mini kind of fake mountain. So we'll go like this and then kind of make up like carpet like this. Or not carpet here, but I guess moss. And kind of make a bit of a pinnacle like this. Now, of course, they can't really jump anywhere from here, but it's still a bit of a nice mountain from the climb. And also, we can make some other cool things, like for instance, uh, something like this, just kind of basically like almost like little toys from to play with. So they can kind of, uh, as if they're kind of still in the wild. So like that, we can even replace some of these azalea bushes down. I think they actually add a lot of detail. Uh, and of course, we'll go over here. I'll grab a couple more of those and place them down. I can hear those baby goats. They're very nice. So we're going to place them around here. And these are just super nice as well. I think these uh, really just add something. There's something really atmospheric about these little bushes that I could just see being so nice for decorative. I could even see these being amazing to spawn around in like forest biomes. That'd be so cool. Uh, but anyway, uh, back on topic here. We want to put some straw bales around here. Not too many near this wall because they have a bit of an area they can jump out there. But some straw bales around here uh, because they contrast, number one. But number two... Uh, these goats do tend to really like hay, which is awesome. So we'll give them some nice straw bales around here just to uh, feed on, to snack on. I think these will really um, complete the enclosure with just some nice uh, areas for them that have some food out. Obviously, you know, the goats are going to want to be able to eat so we can get them some nice food. I guess we have to break that there. Just give them a nice area. Something like uh, this. Maybe that's maybe not the best. Something more like that would be good. So, yeah, just some nice kind of uh, straw in there for them to uh, work with there. And we have a four more here. And we can probably put them in. Oh, there's the baby. It's so cute. We'll maybe put some straw around here. Just so we can have some nice stuff like that. Looks like it was jumping around. That's pretty cool. We might even just add a bit of nuance and some random blocks around in here just to make it a bit more natural. There we go. That's looking awesome. We might even put an azalea here and an azalea there. And maybe azalea there. Perfect. So you have the baby goat in there, Gemma. That's awesome. And I'll just lead the other goats into here. And then our goat enclosure is, well, basically done. Uh, we're just going to grab both these goats here, get them inside of here. We'll have to open up all the gates here. Get them inside of here. We're going to close the gates behind us. And now we can release all the goats. So just right-click them on again with the lead, of course. And here's our amazing goat enclosure. I hope this is a really fun house for them. I'll throw up some torches around here real quick, but it is almost bedtime. Uh, so I will probably just run to bed here real quick, Gemma. Uh, but I think it's overall it's looking really, really awesome. Um, and I just think it's going to be a really uh, good thing for this area, but overall it's just going to make sense, right? I mean, obviously Gemma has her mountain cottage, and goats are very mountain animals, so this can be our uh, bit of a goat farm here, which is quite cool. So, let's see if there's anything else here we could possibly add before we're done, because it's always nice to have a bit of a second look to make sure uh, everything is just as perfect as it can be, uh, possibly. Uh, so that's looking uh, really good there. Uh, we can maybe even put uh, one flowering azalea right up here like this, with a carpet on top of it. I like that. Actually, maybe not. Something like this is looking good, though. And like that, I'm glad it looks like Gemma's very much uh, liking this, which is awesome because it is her goat enclosure. I think last but not least, we'll finish the episode with a bucket of goat milk. So I'm just going to right click on this and deliciously goaty. So there's our goat milk. If you guys enjoyed this episode with me and Gemma Locus making this uh, goat uh, enclosure. Oh, there's a jumping. That was quite the jump. Okay, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to press the like button. Make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Make sure to comment down on the video and make sure to share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and have a good day.